This stretch is for the hip flexors, particularly for psoas. Now, psoas is very deep, attaching to the lumbar spine, so we need to be very particular on how we get in deep into those fibres. First of all, we're going to get into a hip flexed position. So our client is kneeling down. Tom, I'd like you to increase the range of motion of the hip for me. So we start to lengthen across the hip flexors. Okay, any further? Use a little trick here. What we can do, Tom, is take your thumb, put it in the side of the glutes and see if you can then squeeze your glutes to help activate them. That's going to inhibit your hip flexors. Then we'll relax the glutes and see if you can now increase the range of motion a little bit further for me. So you can see our client can then increase the range slightly. Again, do it one more time. So we squeeze the glutes, relax, and see if we can increase range of motion. Draw the belly button to the spine for me. Once we can't get any more range of motion from the hip flexors, we're then going to add a component of lateral flexion. Once we've got lateral flexion, we're then going to add a component of rotation. We rotate towards the side we're stretching, and we laterally flex away from the side we're stretching. So now we should have a stretch coming deeper from the lumbar spine through into the hips. Belly button drawn in for me. A bit more range of motion if you need lat flat, uh, laterally to start with. And we can also increase the range of motion from the hips themselves. Fantastic, keep drawing in. Okay, hopefully you should feel a nice deep stretch there. And again, you can slowly come out of that position, just flex out of it, and come back. Excellent, that's very well done. So that's our kneeling stretch for the hip flexors, particular attention to psoas musculature.